19 over a year ago. Thankfully, she survived it after spending time in the ICU. But 12 months later, she's still dealing with the effects of that virus. Our Brenda Lipinski caught up with her today. Brenda, how is she doing now? Well, Matt, I can tell you the first thing that I noticed when I saw her was a big giant smile. She's been through a lot and she's hoping that her story will give hope and also motivate others to be cautious. I can't afford to go back to where I was. I just, you know, I don't know if I'll make it. Christina Washington concerned for the COVID Delta variant and another pandemic storm. Just a year ago, she was 16 days in the ICU with COVID-19. I thought, I don't want to die alone. That was the, the only thing I could really keep thinking about is I did not want to die alone. She would do a video call and it was so awful. She would just, she'd be on the ventilator, that hose all stuck in her nose and she couldn't breathe and she was constantly just crying, crying, crying because she, Christina is a person who loves to be around people. Washington able to transition to being at home, living day to day on oxygen, not able to go anywhere or even see her grandchildren. It was very emotional sitting here day in and day out, um, thinking of, you know, about different stuff like that. Sorry. And after four months being at home, she's finally able to get out a little at a time, even going on a trip. I'm still not able to walk the two miles I was used to walking. I get winded. Um, I know my limit. I do what I can do. Recommending to protect yourself and others. Be aware of your surroundings, you know, wash your hands, wear that mask. If we go back into that, wear them. What's it going to hurt? Now, as Washington was able to finally get off her oxygen machine here in June, we wish her all the very best.